What's going on guys, your boy Mason, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're doing the account review series here. Now, in this series guys, we're going to be going over a early game, mid game, and late game account, and actually doing an account review, going over how to improve all of these accounts. In this video guys, this is going to be the early game account, shout out to my boy Juvenil here, he's actually one of my viewers that reached out, and is actually going to be able to get a, you know, personal account review pretty much, and you guys will be able to kind of relate if you have similar box DC. So let's hop into the video, and let's actually discuss what we're going to be going over on his account specifically before we actually hop into the video make sure to subscribe to your boy amazing we are on the road to the 50,000 subscribers if you guys haven't hit that sub button already man definitely make sure to and if you guys aren't following the twitter or join the discord make sure you do it so that if we ever do another account review series again in the future you guys actually have a chance of being a part of it and so you want to make sure that you're part of the community man join the discord follow me on twitter i'll have it all linked in the description and you guys will see it on the screen as well now with that out of the way guys let's actually go over the things that we're going to be covering in this video for Juvenal. All right, guys, so these are the four things that we're going to actually be going over for Juvenal's account here, and this is what I actually use for my members. So if you guys were a member on my channel and had Eternal Simp before, you guys actually were able to get an account review, and these are the four criteria that I would actually go over for your account. So the first one is going to be how to improve your box CC. The second one's going to be how to improve your inventory. The third one's going to be PvP team recommendations that I would recommend for you, and then the Demonic Beast Battle team recommendations as well. So these are the four criteria that I feel like cover most of a Grand Cross account and how to actually improve it and we're going to be using this criteria for every video in this series so let's actually hop in and go over the first thing for juvenile's account which is going to be the box cc improvements guys all right, so this is Juvenal's account right here. He has a 2.3 uh, million box CC, and this is going to be the early game account right here. So for the account right here, in terms of the things that I would actually improve on, the first thing that I notice is as I scroll down to the lower half of the box here, is that a lot of the characters are not either they're either not leveled or they're not uh you know higher rarity, right? The thing is with the with the lower characters right here in Grand Cross, the R's and the SR's, you can actually limit break them to another rarity and actually get them to SSR, and then you are just just like the way a normal SSR character can get as well. So what I would try to do with these characters, uh, Juvenal, and for anyone that's around this type of box CC, my main recommendation is to level up all your characters at the very least. If you cannot limit break the character, if you at least level up the character, look how much stats you actually do gain right here, guys. And this is all gonna accumulate to your box CC. So the higher you have of your levels on your characters, the higher your, your stats are gonna be, and in turn, which does increase your, your combat class for your box, right? So that's gonna be the main way that I would go about it for like super early game because you probably don't have all the materials to be limit breaking characters uh, a ton you know so like my my main thing is to at least get your all your characters to level 30 level 40 you know level 50 for the ssrs right that's going to be the first thing that you want to do and and that's going to be the main way that actually will improve your box cc and that'll probably improve your box cc by about like 500 to 600 thousand right there that'll be a very good chunk if you're able to actually do that guys the next thing that i would actually do uh specifically for juvenile's box is actually just start limit breaking the srs and the r characters so let's say you're like okay i am able to get them all to level 40 and level 30 but let's say i'm like okay let's start uh limit breaking them to get them to the higher rarities that's gonna actually help and, uh, and improve the box cc as well because remember the higher the rarity the higher the max level cap is gonna be and because the higher level cap it actually will mean that each character will have higher combat class and so if we actually go to one of his r units right here like hugo we can actually evolve this character and if we eventually get these books and get him to level 40 look at the stat increase that we're able to get it's going to show you guys the max level and stats are increased upon evolution and so that's why evolving a character to the next rarity is going to be worthwhile and you would want to do this for every single character in your box at least to the sr and then to the ssr rarity as well all right guys so the next thing that's super important on an early game account as well is going to be having your characters awakening started now to actually awakening star your characters guys you're going to be getting these full awakening tokens and the way you actually get them is by talking to merlin so what i would do for juvenile is actually talk to merlin here and uh, what you can actually do is gift all your awakening materials so that you get a full awakening token this is going to be worthwhile when doing this guys because even if you are kind of not, not necessarily wasting the materials but you're giving them all in to fuse for a full awakening uh token the really nice thing about full awakening tokens guys is that when you actually make one it does all six of your regular stars for a character instead of having to do one at a time and this is super good for a lot of players because it saves on their gold and it requires them to use uh, a lot less gold in general right um for a newer player like uh, juvenal here where he only has 40k gold he can't really do much in terms of actually increasing his uh you know combat class here but my main thing that i would do is that i would use full awakening tokens because they don't cost gold to actually awaken the character 
whereas as you guys can see every single awakening here is gonna actually cost gold while using these awakening materials so in my opinion the best way to go about uh, you know awakening starting your whole box is by trading in all your materials that you get from doing boss battle and free stage to merlin so that you can get a full awakening token here so i'd actually you know include essentials right there fuse we'll get one full awakening token and now we can actually use that on one of our characters and that costed us no gold that is completely no gold gear all right there guys and now we're able to actually awaken a character in the box so for the example in this video i actually will awakening star uh juvenile's uh, lr liz because he does have her ready and she pretty much just needs to become lr at this point and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give her the full awakening token so that she does get increased stats and look at that guys we actually went up by about 10k hp a whole 1000 defense and about a little bit more than 1000 attack right there which is really good so now elizabeth's gonna be a little bit stronger and so it's gonna also contribute to his box you see we actually did gain 3000 cc right there so the awakening stars are gonna be super helpful and you definitely want to start giving them to all your characters in the box all right guys so for an early game account i feel like that's all the things that i would really go over right now for box cc we'll talk about a lot of other things that are going to be important in the mid game and the late game but for the early game account i think those are the main things to kind of cover right awakening stars making sure that your characters are leveled up and then obviously limit breaking your character so those are the three things in the box cc improvements that i wanted to mention uh for this account right here all right guys so now hopping into juvenile's uh inventory here if you actually look at the inventory the first thing that i actually notice here guys is that he's kind of low on the uh deathmatch materials right you can see that he's kind of low on the og and the belmos and he doesn't really have too many crimson um so he definitely needs to be grinding those uh you know death matches you know make sure that you set them up every single day you're always spawning your but your boss battles and clearing them right remember that the regular ones are repeatable as well and you can actually do simultaneous clear for them and that's going to be a good way to do it and you always want to make sure you do your health every single day you do the three on the top and the three on the bottom and remember that also when doing your boss battles you're going to be getting awakening materials you can trade in with merlin for the actual box cc and the awakening stars right so this is going to be really helpful too because you're going to get two things done at once you're going to be able to limit break your characters and you're also going to be able to get more of these awakening materials for the um you know the full star awakenings which is going to be really good all right, and so in terms of the other things we actually need to improve here, I mean, there's not really too much, right? This is a early game account, so there's not a lot of stuff being done on Juvenile's account that I can really say, you know, is a is a, something that you'd have to change. I feel like just, you know, stockpiling materials is going to be the way to go, though. And uh, if you do have any problems with your storage where you start to max out, I would actually recommend spending enough gems to actually get the max storage, because I do think max storage is worth getting, because it's one gem per five storage here. If we actually go to the minimum, you guys can see that one gem will get you an extra five storage. I do think that is worth it in the long run because the bigger your inventory is guys that means you have a lot more you know uh stuff to actually stockpile with and you can have stacks and stacks and stacks of like you know all the materials that you're going to be using so i do think that you know in the later game will be a lot better but i mean if you want to make that decision juvenile and you want to increase your you know your uh storage amount then you definitely can i mean but for right now it seems like that's not really going to be an issue and i don't think you'll have too many problems with that now another thing that i do notice here is that your uh enhanced ones are kind of low now enhanced ones are going to be mainly gotten by salvaging gear and so what you want to be doing is that whenever you get brand new gear on your account and this is going to be something that a lot of you guys can actually use for your accounts as well is whenever you get a uh, gear that you're just not going to be using so you know like crit chance gear this is mostly like a dead you know a uh, four set anyway people aren't really going to be using this but if you want to get more enhanced stones back and even awakening stones back you want to make sure that you plus one the gear before you salvage it because you actually will get more back when you do that i've actually already made a video dedicated to that topic guys so if you want to actually see you know how to actually do that and and you know get just more awakening uh stones and and enhanced stones in general definitely check out that video i'll have a link in the description but yeah i mean that's going to be one of the ways that can actually improve your enhanced stones and will definitely help for for your inventory too so uh there you go juvenile that that is the main things in your inventory that i actually um had to say you know uh, i think everything else is pretty good i mean for where you're at right like you don't want to be like rushing too much you definitely want to take your time with it with with going through your inventory so uh yeah there is that right there um obviously the uh, gold is going to be a problem too juvenile and so what i would recommend you do is going to be to farm the gold stage remember that gold is actually always half stamina so you can always just do the gold stage and you won't have to worry about spending extra stamina on it because it's always going to be 24 per run so if you have enough stamina pots and you actually are able to do it make sure you just set up any farming team here that can get it done so just a triple a we team and you can actually just set it to auto repeat and even if you don't have like all those really strong triple a we characters you can actually just set it to a team like this and uh, just kind of farm through like something like this 
this would probably work too even though it is kind of single target oriented it still could work i mean uh ultimate Esther in the front here with demon king would be pretty nice too because you have the double aoe so that's going to be uh definitely something that's very important um to uh increase your farming man so i would actually do the uh, gold stage as well because you are kind of lacking on the gold department all right guys so that's gonna cover the first two things on the criteria list now actually moving on to the pvp team recommendations let's see what we can change for juvenile's pvp and actually recommend for him there all right guys so this is juvenile's pvp team that he actually has right now and as we can see here guys he actually only has a 30 percent win rate in the masters for a pvp right now so we're gonna try and improve that by changing his team to make a better comp so that he's able to win a lot more matches now for his team comp that he has here he's running kind of like a sins variant with green gother queen elizabeth transcendent bonnet and lr esnor bat or uh, ultimate esnor backline now we we can actually change this depending on the characters that he owns here to actually a different team you know he has a lot of characters here that we can actually take advantage of and i think could be um not too bad in actually making a team for him now i do see that he has irons albedo and hell which is actually not a bad team right now in pvp i think unknown is one of the you know kind of sub meta teams but it's a team that could easily get you to that champion five and i definitely recommend giving that team a try i mean you have albedo already built so you might as well put albedo on the team you have hell as well which is really good for the unknown variant and then you could rock irons i mean irons is still a really good character even if he is kind of lower on the dupes he's still a, a, a very solid character that you can run and will benefit the team so we have three unknown characters right there and then for the back line right here we could actually sub in maybe nanashi um or even if you don't have nanashi for now we could just run like a cc back line right like a character that could just help you out cc um you could probably just slot in like either transcendent bond here or even like the demon king back line because he could actually be pretty nice coming out um and then you know having the damage cap and all that um but yeah i mean it really is up to you right i mean like a you know purgatory melee you could do queen liz backline um i think freyer would be really nice too if he had his holy relic but again this is a early game account guys so you gotta kind of work with what you got and uh, if you don't have all the holy relics that you will be getting like later on i do think that this setup is probably going to be a good setup as well and it has a really good amount of cc like 160k cc is a lot better than his team he had before where it's around like 149 so i think that this is going to be really good and the main thing you want to prioritize for pvp as a you know a newer player is definitely your ungeared and making sure that you're elite least champion five because you want to make sure that you're getting 50 gems a week at the bare minimum guys that's what a lot of people are able to do and as long as you build a like one team to actually run in pvp that you like you know invested in a ton now you know that team is actually going to carry you through it so uh, i hope this team does help juvenile and uh i recommend giving this a try and seeing if you can actually get to that champion uh champion five all right guys now moving on to the last category here for the amazing account review it's going to be the demonic beast battle team recommendations let's see what demonic beast that uh juvenile is actually able to do and what we can actually improve for that demonic beast is something that you shouldn't really be attempting early game um i do think that some of them are early game accessible like the bird the deer and maybe school and hottie but i don't think that nidhogg is early game accessible and i think the later parts of school and hottie are probably not early game accessible as well um but let's actually go over and see if we can maybe pre-build his team so that he has a general idea of what he wants to run uh on the actual demonic beast battles now for the bird um he's rocking the queen elizabeth Miguelda, purgatory Melly, and ultimate astro okay, okay now this team is not bad i um, mean you have Miguelda built already which is good the main thing that you're going to struggle with probably going throughout the fight here juvenile is that on the second floor you don't have a ton character you're gonna have to use ultimate astro to clear that floor too um i won't actually reset you here because i feel like uh even though you haven't been the first thing here i'm actually not going to reset you um i'm going to leave uh, your team on on this but we'll go to like your team section here and i'll see if i can you know maybe whip up a team here that you could try uh on the uh on the bird that'll do a lot better right so let's actually remove all these characters right here and we'll put Miguelda on and let's actually think of a team we can actually run here now uh the first thing that you have is albedo albedo is one of the best characters on the bird because of the fact that she has amplified counters she's gonna be really good and so if you run Miguelda with her she's gonna get a lot of blue buffs which is why she's uh, able to deal a ton of damage so albedo is gonna be the first character i actually recommend another character that could be really good on it as well is freyer because he does apply uh, all stats and give the team all stats as well um which do count as blue buffs as well for albedo right albedo is going to be doing the counters and she's going to be doing a, a lot of damage because of that um another thing as well that albedo has is because she has a counter on floor two phase two you shouldn't have too many uh, too many issues as long as you run blue tarmiel link do not run red tarmiel link on the fight as it actually will mess you up don't do not run this um just make sure to run blue tarmiel link or any other link anyway it really doesn't matter um just as long as you don't run red tarmiel link your albedo will be completely fine on that phase so that's what i would say and then for the last slot here we can kind of just 
sub in any other character here that could really help for your damage so maybe even um we could do trader melee you know he actually does help because he's giving you the uh the damage reduction um he's pretty good we could actually go for as well a taunt character like matrona as well so we could kind of draw damage away um from the rest of the team but i do think that if we just slot in like trader melee here um i think we'll be pretty good because that's another character here that can deal a good chunk of damage and uh remember this team is really amplified based it's all about dealing damage with your with your characters that have you know a ton of buffs so that is kind of the idea here so this is the team that i'd actually recommend for juvenile based on the characters that he owns and has built i'd actually recommend this setup all right now moving on to the deer here let's see if we can actually get you a team for the deer now uh i don't know if you have jormungand or not but she is going to be a character that is really recommended when attempting it okay so you don't have jormungand right now so my recommendation is for now i would say to not actually attempt this juvenile but when you uh, uh actually have uh these characters built um so i'll show you a, a goddess team that can actually do it so uh mayel we do the green elizabeth for green we'd actually run a red uh goddess character which is going to be the red tarmiel um or we could actually run red sariel as well um let me see if we can actually find red sariel he could be pretty good oh you actually have green Ela. we could run green Ela instead then you know because she'll give uh basic stats we'll actually run green Ela instead since you have her and then uh we could do like blue margaret which will count for blue and then we'll do red sariel which could be for your red right so let's uh let's see if you have sariel here um let's see Oh, okay, you don't have Sariel. Okay, so then Tarmiel is, is the way to go, right? So this would be the setup that I would recommend. You'd obviously have to level up all these characters here in the first place. But once you have all of them built, this is a team that could beat the deer. Um, It's going to be a little bit difficult, but I have done videos going over no deer or no Jormungand deer strats. And this would be kind of a team that is able to beat it. But again, you know, if you don't have Jormungand, deer is not something you want to be like, you know, kind of worrying about right now. Um, Definitely not, uh, you know, a demonic beast that you can really attempt unless you have Jormungand um unless you really want to invest in the guys team to be able to do it so that's what i would say for the deer though and then moving into school and hottie here uh yeah no we're gonna have to change a lot of the team here for school and hottie um do you have thonar let's see if you have thonar we can give it an attempt okay so you actually do have thonar so thonar is going to be the main character that's made for school and hottie so you definitely want to build her now brunhild is a pretty good character as well because she has the healing on the ultimate but we're gonna have to bring a character that can provide healing um if you make this elizabeth to lr as well uh juvenile then this is gonna be really nice too because um this elizabeth uh will be able to give you basic stats and give you healing while cleansing the team um so thonar won't die as quick right it'll be a lot harder for her to die um so we could have uh Ella liz on the team we could put maybe ultimate Eskinor or any other like really strong character i mean queen liz works too right but uh since we're running the other liz we we can't actually run her so either like purgatory melee or even like ultimate Eskinor here would be really good slots even albedo would be a really good slot here too because she's unknown right um so she will kind of benefit from uh you know running her alongside like let's just let's just put freya here because we need to uh ignite immunity but uh yeah freya alongside albedo would be really good we get buffs from this uh elizabeth as well uh donar does give an attack related buff too so yeah i mean you could definitely run a variant like this i think this is actually a pretty good team too so yeah, um, this is going to be the setup right here for Skull and Hottie if you're eventually able to attempt it. Make sure you level up Donar and check out my guides for the actual gear and all the expl uh, explanations with that. Um, but I do cover like all the gear you want to be running in the video uh, for Skull and Hottie. So eventually, you know, if you give that an attempt, that would be the team that I recommend. And then for Nidhogg here, it's, uh, you know, again, not something you're going to want to do right now, but I'll put the team on, on your setup here just so you know what the team's going to be in the future. And then you can build towards having the team ready, right? So this is what the team's going to look like for now um because you don't have i don't think uh let's see do you have a uh, red red ludo you don't say so, and then uh i don't know if you have uh what's it called uh as well um yeah no you have lr liz so you could actually run yeah elizabeth here in this slot so we would do this would be the exact setup right here but you'd have to lr your elizabeth and then you would also have to get the uh the holy relic on freya because uh her holy relic makes her really good on nidhogg if you don't have Freya's Holy Relic though, which obviously you're not going to have right now, um, I would actually run Red Tarmiel. Red Tarmiel is going to be a really good character because he builds up basic stats whenever he gets hit and builds up his grace. So that's actually going to be really nice alongside this full guys team where you can actually build up a bunch of basic stats and then Mile can be your main damage dealer by getting all the bonuses from Liz, from Margaret, and from Tarmiel. So that's what I would recommend for the Demonic Beast Battle team recommendations. And that is going to be the account review right there for you, Juvenile. And for anyone that's around this box, you see, I hope this video was 
was very helpful for you guys we're gonna be doing these series throughout the week so i'll have this video come out and then i'll have the uh the mid game one probably uh the next day and then the end game the uh, the day after so i hope you guys do enjoy this video let me know if this was helpful as well um if this was uh giving you guys some insight on like how to improve your account but those would be the things that i would do to improve juvenile's account and uh for you guys that are around this box cc definitely give these things an attempt and uh it should definitely do well so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a good rest of your day guys see you later man